Now one of my favorite things to do in showing how sin separates us from God is to use a 260 pencil balloon. Now a lot of times you'd use a pump to blow this up. I, I just like blowing it up. And the reason for that, and I always encourage people, if you're going to use balloons a lot, wean yourself off of a pump. Because if you're on a mission field or you're going door to door or you're out and about, a pump can break. And if a pump breaks, well then what are you going to do? Well that's why it's important at some point, if you're going to do it a lot, to learn how to blow these up yourself. And so, to blow it up, you simply tighten your cheek muscles. First time I did it, it took me 15 minutes. Uh, I turned three colors and had sore muscles in my cheeks for three days. So it's not necessarily easy. Some people pull on it while they're blowing. I don't do that. I like putting both my hands right there, holding it tight and just blowing from my diaphragm, blowing hard. Some people pull. I'm always afraid if I pull, it's going to come back and pop me in the face. And so here we go. Let's blow this up. And so you blow up the balloon right there and you can joke around with them. You know, balloon can be a lot of things. It can be a smile. It can be a frown. It can be a unibrow. The balloon can be a lot of things. But this balloon is going to show us what sin is like. Now, sin is anything wrong that we do. Now, when you're talking to kids, always define sin. Because there are kids, they're even adults, that when they think of sin, they're not thinking of sin the way we think of sin. Uh, I knew a young lady, and she was in college, and she told a person after revival, well, I don't need Jesus because I've never sinned. And then she talked to my wife, and my wife, as my wife is talking, she said, well, sin, the wrong things you do. And the young lady said, oh, that's sin? Oh, I need Jesus. You see, she was thinking of the wrong definition of sin. She was thinking it's adultery, it's murder, all these big bad things. So when you're talking to kids, define even biblical terms. So this is going to show you what sin is like, the wrong things we do. This is what the wrong things we do are like. And so what you're going to do, you're going to take and you're going to pinch both sides of that balloon. Now this balloon will stretch, so you got to get a good grip in there. Now if you practice this and you're like, I'm just not strong enough, I can't break it, then what you can do, you can pinch both sides like that, right? Have a kid come up and have, well, or an adult, somebody's not going to cut you with scissors. They can take the scissors, put it right there in that spot right there, and cut it right between your thumbs. And it makes the same point, because your point is, our sin, it separates us, it cuts us off from God. And so using scissors isn't a big deal either. Now when you pull, you want to make sure you've got a good grip on those, otherwise you're going to start losing air. And then you talk about you know, God's perfect, isn't he? Has he ever done anything wrong? No. Are we perfect? Not perfect. We've all done wrong things. God's perfect. We're not perfect. And our sin, those bad things we do, they separate us from God. And so there's your point right there. Real simple, no illusion takes a little practice. If you can't quite get used to tearing it, have somebody use scissors. And then it's always fun to call the kid and uh, when they come up, you're using a volunteer. And you go to hand them a balloon and before it gets in their hand, you let go and it shoots up and you know they're grabbing thin air and you're like, ah, oh, don't worry about it. We can do it with one balloon and do the same thing again and there goes the balloon. Have fun with it. But remember, in the middle of all of this, these are tools to make a point. Not just tools to have fun, not just tools to be funny but tools to make a point. So make sure that if you do anything, you make your point.